everybody, this is Praxis, and things are finally starting to settle down with the cheapers, or chickens, as the rest of the world calls them. We've still got all seven of them. They're all doing really well. River's been taking excellent care of them. And uh, now that things have kind of settled down in terms of getting their uh, mobile coop together, and I keep calling their, their run their coop. This is a run because that's where they get outside, and run their coop is where they are inside during the day. I'm still trying to hammer down the terminology, just like construction. Don't have that terminology either. So mobile run is set. The uh, kind of semi-permanent run is set up here. I was able to put it on some bricks as kind of a foundation. Got it kind of leveled out. There's some gaps under there. I need to kind of fill in the gaps. But at this point, they can kind of come out through the hole in the wall. They can get into the uh, uh, sort of permanent run. I, I hate calling it a permanent run because this entire setup at this point is uh, sort of temporary. Eventually, down in that forest right there, once I kind of clear out the trees uh, for firewood uh, and other things, that is going to be where the, the chicken coop and chicken runs are going to be. So this is, whole thing is temporary. But at this point, it's, uh, it's doing all right. Uh, these bricks down here are just kind of in there uh, at the moment. I, I think I want to get maybe some, some mesh or something to squish them down so they're not going to be uh, jiggling around. Again, this whole thing being temporary, I don't want to spend an enormous amount of time on it, but I do want to make it so that it has some degree of physical integrity to it. So anyway, it's all starting to finish up. And uh, what I'm working on now is uh, back to painting exterior wallboards. This area in here has never been finished. I don't know if you can tell by the bare uh, insulation foam that you can see in there. And uh, I'd, I had these boards that were set aside for covering up this area. They're going to be just about like this. They're going to go straight across to the other side. I counted out um, you know, everything that I knew I was going to need for this and also doing the, uh, the eave ends of the roofs and everything. I've got all the boards set aside now. Just got to start staining them and putting them up into place. There's going to be a light here though, so I'm going to bring you inside and uh, show you what I've got going on inside. The plan was always to uh, kind of finish this thing after we got inspected and uh, because of that we have some electrical wires in here that run into the house that haven't been uh, hooked up yet. They just kind of run through the walls and they terminate back behind here. So I'm going into this secret compartment which was never revealed to the inspectors <laughs> just to make their their job, their lives easier so they didn't have to see through, you know, various levels of things. That's a positive way of looking at it. Uh, we got them hidden up in here. So uh, the plan is that there's going to be an elect uh, electrical switch uh, here and maybe uh, an electrical outlet as well. And uh, this is called a uh, Stanley bar, by the way. It may have another word, I think, uh, name it. It's just made by Stanley, so that's why people call it a Stanley bar. Uh, Kind of hammer it in there, and then use it to pry, pry these guys off here. So the plan is to get the, uh, these wires here, which are not live, they're not hooked into anything, uh, running into a switch, then they're going to go back out through the wall to the other side over there. There's going to be a little porch light that we'll be able to flip on and off from here, so we'll be able to illuminate that area, and I think we're also going to have an outdoor outlet. I do. Uh, you know, work with saws outside, and I'm always having to run a wire out through a door uh, to get to the saw. So I want to have an actual outdoor outlet, I think, and we're going to wire this to there uh, as well. So at the moment, all I need to do is get these guys so they're going out, and uh, I'll actually be able to hang up the, uh, the light fixtures today too, which is nice because they've just been sitting in boxes for three years, I guess. That's it. Thanks for watching.